Hello and welcome to our channel Mewtwo Unboxing. My name's Glenn. I haven't got Tyler with me here. Tyler doesn't know I'm doing this video, but me and Tyler set out on a mission, a goal. Yesterday, we decided. What we've been doing is we've been opening random packs of Pokemon cards for your entertainment and for our own. And now we're currently sitting on all these different Pokemon cards from different sets and we haven't actually got a completed set. Now, my OCD kicked in and I was like, Tyler, we need to complete a set and he was like I'm not that fussed about completing a set I said no nope, we need to so what I done was I went to the official Pokemon website and I actually managed to uh, get a list of all the cards that were included in Champions Path because we had bought a couple of boxes from the Champions Path set and the set that we bought a week before that were also Champions Path so I thought we've got the best chance of starting and the actual Champions Path uh, list that is on here there is actually only 73 cards all in total so it's a nice easy set to hopefully complete i know that there's a uh, rare charizard in there so that's going to be the hard one that's going to be the most valuable one to get unfortunately pokemon cards seem to be sold out everywhere everywhere smith's toy superstore sold out um ebay they're selling for double triple the price that they should be um so yeah it's it's difficult to get them out there so i've been messaging people on facebook now i've gone on a mission and then i thought right i need to step this up if my mewtwo unboxing youtube channel is going to be epic as i want it to be we need something special so I have now set a goal in my life to collect every single set and have at least one master set. Now. So if I take over to this website called PokemonPrice.com, they list every single set that has ever been released and going through this list here, you can see there's quite a lot of sets. <laughs> so what I plan to do and what I propose is I want to collect every single card from every single set. Now you've got to think I'm currently 20 years behind the pace of where everyone else is so it's going to be an uphill battle and it may take me a year two years whatever but i'm going to set a goal of collecting every single pokemon card from every single set now i know there's loads of rares and promos and ones that never got released in this country i'm just talking about going over to the official pokemon website downloading the set list and trying to accumulate one off every box whether it's if there's like duplicate like a shiny or a normal version uh, the normal version would count so i just want from one to whatever it goes up to so this one uh, for champions path would be from one to 73 i want those cards and i'll have them in a binder and i'll have a shelf somewhere with every single binder for every single set that has ever come out. So we have got the base set, the jungle, the fossil, the base set 2, Team Rocket, Gym Heroes, all the way through to Generations, Breakpoint, Steam Siege, Evolutions, and then currently Champions Path. So we're starting almost backwards. Now I said to Tyler, what one would you like to start first? And he said, I want to start with the base set. I said that would be quite difficult because the prices of them are so high at the moment. Why don't we start with the uh, current ones because they're the ones that are in circulation they're being printed more of they're available on facebook youtube and stuff like that and we can work our way backwards through the list and he said yeah but then the price of the base set will be higher he it raises a valid point but at the moment pokemon is a uh it's it's very popular at the moment. Um, the interest may die down. Now, I plan to continue this even if the interest goes from it and even if Tyler loses interest in it because this takes me back to a time when when I was little, m my mum was, you know, uh, she was a mother of six kids. Um, we didn't have a dad in our life, so we didn't have much money. She was always on benefits. Obviously, she stayed at home and looked after us. So... I never had the opportunity to, I wasn't that kid that had, you know, everything that they wanted as a kid. If I had any Pokemon cards, they used to be about £2, £2.50 years ago, I think, or they might have even been £1.50. And I remember buying 
a few packs, maybe five packs, and every now and then I'd wait months later and then I'll get another five pack. So I wasn't the kid that had loads to trade, but what I did have was personality, a bit of charisma, and a bit of chat about me. So I used to go around the park and I used to sell my doubles and stuff like that for 20p, 50p, and then eventually that would accumulate enough to go and buy another pack. And eventually I actually built up and I had. 95% of the original Pokemon card set, which oddly enough, we now have this poster with all the original generation. I'll see if I can uh, get in on that. Um, there's this original poster that we actually found, oddly enough, in a Centre Parks gift shop. Tyler actually picked it up and it, he said, Dad, I really want to buy this. So we got him that. So that's I've got the list behind me. And it just took me back to a time many years ago where I wasn't the wealthiest kid on the block. I didn't have the most uh, disposable income to be able to go and buy cards. So I really had to sort of hustle my way through it. So I'd done it when I was little and I only did it 95%. So now I'm on a mission to collect them all. And this took me back. I remember singing that song, watching the cartoons week in, week out on ITV and absolutely loved it absolutely loved it i love the anime series i love the video game i would say i would go as far as so as to really like rpgs as a kid japanese rpgs in particular and i was really into final fantasy secret of mana um on the sort of nes and super nintendo and obviously that carried through it came back to me with uh, final fantasy 7 on the playstation 1 i have to say that Probably my first experience of an RPG is from Pokemon. It, it really is one of the uh, really early uh, RPGs out there that captured everyone's imagination. You leveled up your Pokemon. And as well as that, you, it then brought about, obviously, you got Tamagotchis with the little eggs where you had to train your uh, creatures. I've actually got two packs of Tamagotchis up there. I've got a girl version and a boy version. You probably can't see it in this shot. Um, but <clears throat> it just... The more I've been thinking about it since me and Tyler started this channel, how much Pokemon has influenced my life. And that sounds like something really silly to say for a 35-year-old to say. But um, if you actually look at what that path led me down, um, you know, that really, I was really into RPGs all the way through my teenage years. So, and that all stems back from Pokemon. And lately I've been thinking a lot about where I was in my life, obviously, when Pokemon was about. I used to like the cartoons. I didn't actually have the game itself. I had, I did have the game, but I didn't have a Game Boy. Luckily, one of my best friends at school, his name was Andrew, he lent me his Game Boy and he said I could have it for about two weeks, I think, or a week or something like that. It was, it was during like a half term. And he lent me Pokemon Blue and I absolutely hammered the game. I did not stop playing it. I had the charger plugged into the wall and I was playing it all day, every day, all night. I was I was absolutely hooked. So in my mind, I thought I have got to collect them all within two weeks. Otherwise, I've got to give it back to my friend. My mum, I said, I want Game Boy, I want Pokemon Red, or at the time then Yellow came out, I want it. And, you know, she was like, no, we can't afford it. Game Boys are really expensive. Eventually, I did get my own Game Boy, so I was really happy with that. And that was around the time that they brought out Pokemon Color. And again, I tried catching, you know, catching them all again. Um, obviously, still watching the anime series. And then, obviously, uh, throughout that, collecting the cards. And I remember just hustling on the play grounds uh, in parks just trading with kids cards so that I can go and buy more packs and when I was thinking about it, I was look I was looking at obviously me and Tyler doing this and originally this is all Tyler's idea I have to say Tyler was like dad I want to do a Pokemon channel and at first I was like nah. and I thought are people into Pokemon these days and he said this four years ago and I said, oh, I don't think people are into Pokemon anymore. I don't think that would be a very popular thing to watch. I didn't realise there was this huge community of people that are still really into Pokemon. I thought it fizzled out over the years. And now I'm looking into it and I'm like, oh, it's the most popular money-grossing franchise of all time. It's, you know, people, the cards are selling out, even the recent ones. I thought people were still just trying to get the base set, you know, like the original ones. And now I find out, 
obviously all of them are sold out and pretty much any of them all the way up to Sky Ridge actually hold really good value because they were printed by Wizards of the West Coast and then after that you've got all the ones that Pokemon themselves have printed so there's loads of Pokemon in there that I don't know nothing about I haven't played any of the recent games um, I recently just started playing Pokemon Go on the um, Nintendo Switch with my youngest son he is five uh, but we he's been playing it since he was four and I thought right I'm going to collect them all again and I've played through the game and then his Nintendo Switch broke so it seems like Pokemon has always been consistently there in the background of um, my life and obviously now my kids life and uh, it just made me really think do you know what I want to go all out on this um, I, I, I want this to become my new hobby I've become re-obsessed with Pokemon I want to go through and collect every single Pokemon in every single set so that's 94 sets I think or 93 sets that are currently in existence I know there's other rare probably collections out there but I'm just going to focus on the 93 that's on there so I think that's a, a mission and a half as it is obviously there's going to be particular cards that are very hard to get hold of I might have to buy those singularly off of eBay or second hand um, but I'm going to try my best to complete a set and I'm trying to get Tyler into this rhythm as well because i think that's where the excitement comes from you know if you only need tyler went through and he's got one of these himself because i said what we do is we'll get two sets so he'll have a set i'll have a set um and he can keep them from as long as he wants if he ever wants to get rid of them he can sell them but for me it takes me back to that kid that hustled on the playgrounds and parks and i think i couldn't have afforded to do that back then i couldn't keep up with all the other kids i couldn't keep up with all the new sets i just couldn't afford it um, and my mum couldn't afford it so it takes me back and now I think do you know what I'm older now I've got a bit more disposable income and I'm sure many other 35 year old men are thinking the same sort of thing but it just takes me back to that time where I couldn't do it and now I can do it so I'm gonna try my best to complete the set and I'll feel like once I've completed the whole set I'll feel like this has been a 20 cent year journey um that I started and now obviously I'm going to attempt to complete and I know it's going to take me a couple of years and I'm going to document it on this YouTube channel along the way so uh, as I go through it we're going to work our way so currently Champions Path that's the set that we're going to go for that's the set we're going to try and complete if you're out there and you want to follow us along so currently we're doing Champions Path we're going to try and get the whole collection of Champions Path then we're going to move on to a different set ideally I'd like to do them in order because currently we've got a load of Darkness Ablaze and we've also got some rebel clashes so they're the ones that i'll probably start off with and then obviously sword and shield was the last real big update in the set the generation so then and then from that what past sword and shield then i'll decide right okay where do we want to go from here maybe we'll continue to go down that path of going backwards uh, or we might start at the beginning or something like that but i'm definitely gonna do up to sword and shield so we're gonna collect all of those first and then obviously we'll document where we're going to go from there what what sets we're going to have um going forward from that so if you like would like to see that journey if you want to see us follow that through then smash that like button we've also been hammering pokemon go and uh thank god the halloween event is uh now finished because i was getting fed up of the same four or five pokemon the whole time now i'm checking my pokemon thing today and there's like 10 other pokemon i've never seen before so now i've got to capture a load more so um hopefully i'm going to try and capture as many pokemon as i can on pokemon go and i know people have documented this on youtube for years and they've been traveling the world uh, trying to capture pokemon but me and tyler are going to really really hammer this home we're going to really you know i'm going to give this everything to get this complete and once i've completed it who knows obviously there's always new sets coming out to maintain that what i have to do and i've had to think about this a lot because this is something that i would really like to do obviously i can't just go out and buy i can't just go out and go spending you know five thousand pounds on pokemon cards all out of the blue so what I need to now do is actually find a way of making this hobby sustainable so that I can do it continuously. So what I've done is I've actually created a website and I've also uh, got in touch with a distributor uh, for Pokemon cards in the UK and I'm, I'm going to approach them and say, look, I'm going to look to sell individual and packs of Pokemon cards 
um, through my website and also eBay and on Amazon. And that way, if I can make money selling the spares, so say like this Champion's Path, here's the cards that Tyler has doubles of. Uh, what do I do with these? You know, we, we I can't go in the playgrounds now and start trading with kids. I, I'll look like a creep. So uh, I need to do something with these. So the sensible thing to do, because those cards that we unboxed the other day, um, these actually cost me about £45. So what I'm going to do is, is try and obviously sell these or trade them for ones that I'm missing. And then that way I can afford to then go and buy more packs which means obviously we increase our chances of completing sets a lot faster so i'm going to update you guys with the website and everything once it's up and running and live properly and obviously if you guys uh, want to purchase any of the cards that me and tyler find along the way that we have doubles of spares i'll post them on the website you can check out you can check out our ebay page right now it's just mewtwo unboxing on ebay and if you go on there, it will have all the single Pokemon cards that we have for sale. I've just recently put some Charizards on there. And uh, I'm, I'm currently about to do uh, sort of the base set. I have uh, Fire, Water. Um, no, I've done all the Waters. I've got to do Fire, Earths, Electric. So there's Pikachus and that in there. And then what I'm doing is I'm keeping... The ones I need and then obviously all the doubles and everything I'm putting on eBay. So then that way I make some money back off it and then I can go and buy some more cards for the current set. So if you're interested in that, check out our eBay page. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description down below. You can click on that link and if you want to purchase any Pokemon cards from us, I'm putting them all into um, top loaders as well as penny sleeves. So they're fully protected. Um, and then I'm posting them in um, do not bend envelopes. So I've really gone sort of all out. I've spent about 100 quid on <laughs> envelopes and stuff, um, as well as these top loaders and the penny sleeves uh, so that people that receive them through eBay give us good feedback and uh, they're going to be happy with their purchase of the cards. So they're cards that are, you know, looked after. These are not like I'm just chucking them in little cheap envelopes and posting them out. I bought some uh, Pokemon cards off eBay uh, recently and someone sent them to me in literally just like an envelope like this but where it had rained all the ink from the card sort of were leaking out into the onto the envelope and it just looked awful so uh, and all the cards came out all soggy so I thought oh, I'm not doing that if I sell them so um, yeah check out our Mewtwo unboxing um, eBay page um, and I'll update you guys when the website is live and you'll be able to purchase hopefully I can get in touch with uh, the distributor in the UK and they accept me on their panel of resellers and then I will be actually selling things like elite trainer boxes and the new vivid voltage sets and stuff like that hopefully earn some sort of income from that again so it can help me uh, go back through and buy all the older sets as well as that obviously I'll be accumulating the new sets which then me and Tyler can unbox for you guys so I'm really going all out on this I'm literally almost making a lifestyle change to sort of fit in with this hobby and this uh, this goal that I have in mind of collecting gotta catch them all that's that's the key in it gotta catch them all so that's it from me guys uh, next video you'll see from me is uh or with me and tyler um we'll do videos of videos of me and tyler unboxing cards i need to update obviously the cameras and stuff we've got but also doing videos of pokemon go uh, because me and tyler are playing that loads we're walking around trying to catch loads of pokemon and as well as that videos on actually creating a Pokemon selling business. Uh, I know a lot of you are interested in that. So if I can combine all three things, I'll create three different playlists and I'll every time I upload a video, I'll put it in one of those playlists. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, please smash that like button. Also click subscribe if you're new to this channel and uh, you'll see me and Tyler trying to catching them all, catching all the trading cards and uh, completing our sets and getting some master sets of uh, Pokemon cards very soon. It just means I've got to buy a ton of binders. <laughs> that's it. So uh, that's it from me, guys. I'll see you on the next video from YouTube Unboxing. Bye.